ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಈ ಸಮಯ ಅಮರೆ ಸಾಥ್ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಭಿ ದರ್ಶಕೋ ಭಕ್ತೋ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿಯೋ ಅವರ ಶಿಷ್ಯೋ ಕಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಎಂ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಸಹಿತ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಕರ್ತಾ ಹೋ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಜೀಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹನ್ಸ್ ಮಹನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟಾರೀಸ್ ತಾನೇದಾರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತ್ರೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಜನಶ್ರೀ ಟಿ ವಿ ಈಶ್ವರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಥ್ರೂ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಯಾಟಲ್ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಜೋರ್ಪಾಟಿ ನೇಪಾಳ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಟಫಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಮೆಕ್ಸಿಕೋ ಹೈಪಾಯಿನ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಕರೋಲಿನಾ ವಾಡಲು ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರಮು ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಹೋಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಮಿಲ್ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ವೈರವನ್ ಗೋಯಿಲ್ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಜೊಹೋರ್ಬಾರು ತಿರುಚಂದೂರ್ ಜೆನ್ಕಿನ್ ಟೌನ್ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ವೇನಿಯಾ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಡೆಕೋಟಾ ಡೂನ್ಸ್ ದೇವೋನ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಇಂದ್ರಾಣಿ ನ್ಯೂಜರ್ಸಿ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಹೋಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಏಂಜಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪೂಜಾನಂದ ಟೊರಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರಂ ಚಾರ್ಲಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲಂ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಮಾ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಒಕ್ಲಹಾಮ ಸೋಮನಾಥಂ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ಬರೋ ಆಂಟಾರಿಯಾ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಕೈಲಾಸಂ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ಲಾಸ್ ಏಂಜಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಪುರಂ ತಿರುವಾನ್ಮಿಯೂರ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಜೆನ್ಕಿನ್ ಟೌನ್ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ವೇನಿಯಾ ಸೆರಂಬಾನ್ ಶಿವಗಾಸಿ ಹೈಪಾಯಿನ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಕರೋಲಿನಾ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಕಾಳಹಸ್ತಿ ಡೆಕೋಟಾ ಡೂನ್ಸ್ ಗೋಡಲು ಪ್ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಕೂಲಿಂ ತಿರುತ್ತಣಿ ಕೊಯಮತ್ತೂರ್ ಧ್ಯಾನಪೀಠಂ ಓಮನ್ ಶಿವಗಂಗೈ ಕೊಲ್ರಾಡೋ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ಪೊಬ್ರಾ ಸ್ಲೋವಾಕ್ಯ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಇಫ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇಸ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ today i'll continue to expand on the space of advaita please understand even though in the modern world advaita is branded as a very powerful theology a very powerful philosophy originally advaita was not developed as a philosophy it evolved as a sweet personal instruction between a disciple and master whose love circle is complete please understand it reached its perfection it reached its peak possibility please understand ya yeah, ayurvedic medicine may be sold in any small shop it might have been available to you in some small shop in a some small gully because it is available in a 
in a small shop, in a small village, in a small gully, don't think it is produced there. Where R&D is done and perfection has been arrived is a different space. Now the Advaita has become a philosophy, well-known theology. I can say in a way most promoted theology of Hindu tradition has become Advaita. Of course, Advaita is worthy to have that space because the truth Vedic tradition wanted to share, the truth towards which the tradition is showing is Advaita Satya. It is neither Siddhanta nor Vedanta, it is Satya. Vedanta or Siddhanta both developed later on in course of time. That is why I wanted to tell all of you the Advaita I am sharing with you, the truths of Advaita I am sharing with you are revived by Shankara but originally shared by Mahadeva and Kapila. It is from the time of Mahadeva, from the time of Kapila, Shankara revived it. How I am making the Advaita user friendly to this modern day humanity, same way Shankara made it user friendly for his time. But don't ever make the mistake of thinking Shankara developed the Advaita system. No. Advaita Satya existed, exists forever. What I am doing? I am doing a practical liberated thinking which makes you experience the truth of Advaita which makes you operate from the space of Advaita. That is exactly what Shankara did during his lifetime. Making Advaita as an operating space, liberated thinking as a day-to-day -day thinking, the space of Advaita as a cognition from which you will operate. That is what Shankara did in his time. So I wanted every one of you to be very clear. The truths I am sharing with you is directly from the inner space of Mahadeva. Please understand, research and development and perfection of this great truths, the way they are lived, the way they are transmitted, the way they are contemplated, the way they are listened, this perfection, the research and development and the perfection has happened in a great loving space of Mahadeva. That is why I insist on coming down, staying around the master, spending little time around him and allowing this perfection happen in you, in the love of the master, All these teachings become part of your very bioenergy. Love of the master is from the space of bioenergy. Pure Kundalini Shakti, unpolluted. So naturally that awakens your Kundalini Shakti. Your core opens up. A few days before, 
I received a message from a, a devotee in Mumbai. In Facebook, she writes, I always had tremendous fear to open up to you. The feeling scared about being open to you because the moment I come to see you or come near you, you are such powerful addictive space. I feel I will be lost in it. I tell you, you will find you in it. You will never be lost in it. Please understand, when you are afraid of your own core being, you are afraid of the love comes from the core being of the master. I have never seen a master's love making you lose you. I have always seen Master's love making you find you. This great truth is perfected in the space of Advaita, in the space of Advaita, in the presence of the Master. Please understand. That is why I, I insist on coming down and spending time with the Master in the physical presence where this truth is transmitted to you in a supportive, protective, caring, loving ambience, energy field of the Master. At least the initiation should happen in the physical presence. The initiation should happen in the physical presence. The truth of Advaita medicines across the counter. You can get it from wherever you are, just through two-way video conferencing. But for surgery, you have to go to the operation theater. So, for the real transformation, you have to go to the presence of the Master, where the transformation becomes your reality. It is just part of your inner space. The story of Bhatmapada, one of the great disciples of Adi Shankaracharya, proves clearly just by the feeling connection with him, feeling connection to Adi Shankara, he has mastered the nature. He was so powerfully in tune with the nature. He was so beautifully in sync with the nature. You may may not know the story. There was a great disciple of Adi Shankara who is not that intellectually capable but highly devoted, dedicated, integrated to the master, integrated to his disciplehood. One day he went to wash the clothes of the master to the other banks of the river. He was washing there. Some of the other disciples of Shankara were discussing and they were making fun of Bhatmabada. What is this? This fellow is all the time washing the clothes and cleaning. Did he come here to become a laundry man? If he is not learning any scriptures and not studying, contemplating, when is he going to 
get enlightened, master the nature, prakriti, life. Shankara was just laughing. He may be a little less capable in intellectual way, but he is an amazing intelligent being who is doing what needs to be done first. Who is putting first things first. Shankara wanted to show this to other disciples. So he just sits up and calls from where he is, Bhatmapada, please come. Actually, he uses the word first time, Bhatmapada. Earlier his name was different. He just calls his disciple. The moment master called, the disciple forgot everything. He just starts walking on the river. And the river, oh God, now I have to protect him. When somebody is in such a deep space of trust, with the whole cosmos, Master is a representation of the whole cosmos. I cannot allow him to suffer, I cannot let him down. So the river just makes lotus flowers and holds his feet wherever he puts his feet. Please understand, lotus will never happen in the river because the river is flowing water. It happens only in ponds, stable water. But here, river produces the lotus and holds his feet the, when he walks and makes him cross the river. Usually, people will be anxious when they cross the river. Maybe first time, river would have been anxious when a person is crossing <laughs> the river. <laughs> that she has to safely reach him the other side. Because every feet, every is every step is held by a lotus. He was called Bhatmapada. Shankara demonstrates to all his disciples the need for the loving space for the transmission of the Advaitic truth to happen because your birth itself has happened when you denied the self, Advaita. Something that deep which is able to make you assume a human body and broken mind can't be transcended unless you trust somebody more than your human body and broken mind. So, Master makes himself available for you to experience the completion of the love circle. He makes it possible for you to experience the completion of love circle constantly reminding you the context of Advaitic space is the constitution of master's space. Please understand, whatever he does, he stands for constantly reminding you the context of Advaita, constantly reminding you to stand in the space of cosmic non-duality. Karma, the hangover of the past. Please listen. We always feel whenever we start anything, things are impossible because in the past we failed. But we forget 
why we failed in the past. We may not have had intelligence. We may not have had what all is required. Because we did not have whatever, whatever is required and we fail, does not mean we are going to fail forever. But unfortunately, illogical belief of impossibility in your inner space is karma. Illogical belief of impossibility Please catch it. This is the Facebook statement today for all of you. Illogical belief of impossibility is karma. In your inner space, illogical belief of impossibility, when it becomes pattern, that is karma. If you build self-doubt, when you grow up, you are like Dhritarashtra. Please listen. Asambhav ki aadhar rahit abdharana hi karma hai. Developing self-doubt in course of growing up. is accumulating the karma, agamya, encouraging the self-hatred with which you happened is prarapta karma, like shagun, Coming down to the human body with a self-denial is Sanjita Karma, like Duryodhana. Understand? Self-denial is given birth by self-doubt and nourished, nurtured by self-hatred. All impossibility is combination of these three. Being held together by self-blackmailing, Gandhari. Gandhari held all the three together. Dhritarashtra, Shaguni, Duryodhana, because she is blood relative of all three. She is the head of the family of all three. The self-blackmailing pattern, Gandhari keeps Dhritarashtra, Shaguni, Duryodhana together. If Gandhari was not there, at least Shaguni would not have stayed with Duryodhana Dhritarashtra would not have allowed Shaguni to stay. Understand, even in you, the constant self-blackmailing pattern, let me define self-blackmailing pattern. If the same way things go on, then what will happen to my identity? I will become nobody. Where will I end my life? I love to put my foot down, which forces you to foot, put your foot down. But unfortunately, whenever you want to put your foot down, you put it in your mouth. Putting the foot down is what I call self-blackmailing pattern. You always think, no, if I don't put my foot down, it will go in a different direction, it will go in a different way. What will happen to my identity? Constantly, everywhere, you think I'll have to be living in the same way. 
understand nothing nothing needs to be lived in a same way you don't need to worry self doubt self hatred self denial held together by self blackmailing pattern leads to destruction only in the pure beautiful advaitic space you will even understand look beyond the self blackmailing patterns with which you are suffering self blackmailing does not need to be your lifestyle self blackmailing does not need to be the way you are approaching cognizing your life i'll give the essence of the today's satsang in hindi the medicine for the great wound of self doubt self hatred self denial self blackmailing is master's love आज मैं अद्वैत के ऊपर विस्तार से बात करूंगा अद्वैत किसी सिद्धांत की तरह नहीं बनाया गया था प्रारंभ में अद्वैत गुरु और शिष्य के बीच का प्रेम पूर्ण संवाद था अद्वैत आज सबसे उच्च सत्य बन चुका है ना तो यह वेदांत है ना एक सिद्धांत है एक तो केवल सत्य है अद्वैत महादेव का समय से है कपिल मुनि के समय से है शंकराचार्य ने इसका पुनः जागरण किया था शंकर ने अद्वैत को निर्मित नहीं किया था उन्होंने उसको समय के अनुसार बनाया मात्र था अद्वैत की स्थिति को आपकी मूल विचारधारा बनाने का कार्य शंकराचार्य ने किया था मैं चाहता हूं आप लोग ये जाने कि अद्वैत के सत्य महादेव के द्वारा दिए गए हैं मैं इसीलिए कहता हूं कि गुरु के पास आकार रखना और उनके प्रेम के द्वारा ये सभी शिक्षा आपने अस्तित्व के बाग के रूप में निर्मित करना बहुत आवश्यक है मैंने कभी नहीं देखा कि गुरु के प्रेम द्वारा शिष्य कुछ को दे मैंने हमेशा यही देखा है कि गुरु के प्रेम द्वारा शिष्य अपने आप को प्राप्त कर लेता है इसीलिए गुरु के समीप रहने से ये सत्य आपको आसानी से सहयोगी वातावरण में प्राप्त हो जाएंगे ध्यान से सुनिए आप जहा कहीं भी है आपको सत्संग और वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग द्वारा यह सत्य प्राप्त हो सकते हैं किंतु अगर आप रूप आंतरण चाहते हैं तो आपको गुरु के समीप रहना होगा और आत्मसात करना पड़ेगा बत्मपाद की कहानी से पता चलता है कैसे उन्होंने शंकराचार्य के समीप रहने से ही प्रकृति के ऊपर सिद्धि प्राप्त कर ली थी बत्मपाद शंकर के शिष्य थे और बहुत ज्ञानी प्रकार के नहीं थे अन्य शिष्य उनके ऊपर उपास करते थे शंकर ने अन्य शिष्यों को शिक्षा देने के लिए एक दिन बत्मपाद को पुकारा बत्मपाद नदी के दूसरे किनारे पर थे गुरु की आवाज़ सुनते ही वह नदी के ऊपर चलते हुआ 
आ गए पहली बार बातें हुए जल में भी कमल किल गए जहाँ जहाँ बत्म पाद ने चरण रखे वहाँ वहाँ कमल किल गए जिससे वह नदी के पार आ सके गुरु आपको प्रेम की पूर्णता प्राप्त करना संभव बनाता है लगातार आपको अद्वैत की स्थिति का आभास कराते रहना गुरु का कार्य है अद्वैत के दृष्टिकोण को पुनः पुनः आपको स्मरण करते रहना हम हमेशा सोचते हैं कि कोई भी कार्य संभव नहीं है क्योंकि पहले हम असफल हो चुके हैं हम ये नहीं देखते कि ऐसा क्यों हुआ था और अब हमने क्या शिक्षा प्राप्त की है असंभव की आधारित अवधारणा ही कर्म है सारी असंभव लगने वाली चीज आत्मसंदेह आत्मविरोध और आत्मनिषेध पर ही आधारित है आपके भीतर भी असंभव लगने वाले विचार इसी कारण से रहते हैं यह विचार आपको नष्ट कर देते हैं अद्वैत की स्थिति में आकर ही आप समझ सकते हैं कि यह विचार कैसे आपके भीतर आ रहे हैं और क्या कर सकते हैं आई ब्लस यू ऑल लेट यू ऑल रेडिएट with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching and causing eternal bliss nityananda thank you nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 0802727999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation